Hey there, welcome back and thanks for joining me. All my supplies and equipment are down in the description box below and they have links, so check that out. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button. If you want to be notified when videos come out, hit that notification bell. And give me a thumbs up. It lets me know you like what you're seeing. And uh, comments, questions are welcome. So let's see how far into this we get before Henry shows up. They're supposed to be sleeping right now. I mean, this is morning-ish, and they're they're usually not around. So we'll see just how long it takes. Again, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to start going to the top. I don't know how this will do. I've always done it from the side in. But, you know, again, we'll find out. And... Let me see. Let me kind of get a game plan on colors. These two are good beside each other. Pink. Purple and yellow probably, they don't necessarily get along. And... Yeah, I don't even know how I took these off. Some of them have got marked. That's the yellow. Pistachio. Purple. I'm going to say that's gumball. Who knows? That's another purple. <laughs> Wait. You know, this purple one went on the pool. I can tell you that. Because somebody didn't put them back. Like they were supposed to be. I'm going to say it's Henry. Just going to go ahead and put that out there. Okay, I'm not like happy that that puts two. Yeah, I'm good with that. If I even use that, I don't even know. Let's put it down and see what, what we come up with. Okay, I'm gonna try, it will not work, but I'm gonna try to hold this down, my brush ready. Okay. That will be corrected. I mean, that's unfortunate, but I don't, I didn't clean that either. That's too solid. I want to break it up a little bit. So I'm going to put some alcohol down, dip this in it, and just really go in there and try to mess it up a little. really dries fast. Yeah, that works. There's a lot of ink on my head. <laughs> okay, let's try that again. Again, I'm not, my hopes aren't high, but you know, if it just does a little bit, it's at least a little bit. All right. Uh, that did better, so that's a good thing. Okay. 
painter's tape on that first round would probably be good. I don't know how it would do on that. Maybe, maybe not pick it up. It might. Then we'll try it without it. So we can kind of figure out our easiest thing. I'm going to kind of have to wonder with it going all the way to the end if I just didn't have more alcohol on my brush and it just carried it. Because normally it stops like this. So it may be something to look at. Oh. <laughs> And they're pretty easy to clean. I mean, see, it just comes right off. Some brushes are really tough to get this going, but this is why I love this mat, this uh, Tim Holtz Tonic Studios mat. You just, you can so use it as a uh, palette. It's awesome. Now, don't put your acrylics on it because they're going to dry and you're going to have to scrub. But for alcohol inks and stamps and things like that that clean off with alcohol, it is wonderful. Okay, so second round we're going to do orange, green, purple. Yes? Yes, I think so. I'm going to try it. This did okay. I mean, this isn't going to be perfect, but chances are we're going to mess it up with something. So, I'm not going to worry about it. I'm just not. Because whatever it does, it's got to do better than the roller. <laughs> Yeah, we'll do this one again. Okay, I don't like that line, so we are going to have to figure out something. I have got some of that, what's it called, washi tape in my kit thing. This has got these pens. They're awesome. They've got grooves. And you put them in this ink and you can write like forever with them. They're pretty neat. So here's this tape. Never used it. And I do have this down in the description. It's got little inks. And uh, it's pretty awesome. It's fun if you like to, you know, kind of, not necessarily calligraphy, but just a pinned true ink thing uh you know for your cards or your signature or something on that order okay let's just try this i kind of want to undo that so i'm going to set it up just a little bit and i don't know if that's crooked or not I'm so taping my paper towel. Alright, so let's just let's just do this. I'm gonna redo this one. And I do want to take some of this off first.
Yeah, and it may be that I'm just not trapped. You know, I don't have far to travel, so it just... You know, I'm just, I'm going to leave it. Let's just move to the next. Because we'll get it figured out. Okay. A little bit of alcohol, a little bit of ink. Maybe not that little bit. Goodness. Goodness. Yeah, a little bit, especially on these short runs. Just to kind of backpedal a little bit, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, so that seems to be the key. I really want to do that one again. I don't like it. Okay. Um, we'll put this there and we'll kind of wash it off. Let's do this again. The cards want to bend a little bit though. I'm gonna put it right up on that line. And I'm also lifting up. That would that is gonna help some too. Give that green a little bit of a darker hue to it. Okay. Hold a lot of orange because I didn't clean my brush. Okay, see? It kind of cleans off really cool. So I'll try to find those. Um, <clears throat> all right, let's, let's see how this worked. It doesn't look like it's pulling off my alcohol ink. All right, I have found a new friend. This is awesome. Now, when you pull tapes off stuff, you don't want to just yank up. You want to almost lay it down and pull it. It's just not going to stress your paper out. <laughs> I like that. Okay. 
So at this point, I have no other plans. Um, this would be awesome to do bubbles. Would it not? I think, I think so. I kind of want to do some all the way across. Hmm. Different sizes, maybe. Here's a big. These are a little bit smaller. Um, I had small. Hold on, I have some more stuff. That's an even smaller one. Hmm. Let me go pilfer through my stuff. Okay, there's another thing. Actually, that's the lid that goes with that, but they're different sizes. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's do that. In that case, I wish this was a stronger line, but kind of like that, we can add. So it's it's not going to be a deal, really. Okay, let me see how this might look. I want to offset them, but they all, I want them all touching the line somehow. Something maybe like that. Hmm. I don't know that I want to use this big. I may use these. That might work. Okay. That's my game plan. Yeah, I keep lids because you can see I've used this one. I've put yellow to do something. Just keep those. All kinds of lids like that. And hairspray lids have nice size on them. Okay. Let's get going. I've got my Revlon. I'm going to, because I want this to draw on the outside, because you know it's going to leak out a little bit, I'm going to use it on high volume and heat. And these have three settings, a low volume heat and a high volume cool. I'm going to say there is a uh, learning curve on these because this time I put too much alcohol. And I don't mind that it bleeds out. So it's not a huge thing. But if you definitely want a crisp um, circle, you're not going to put near as much. And if you have to go back in and add some to that center after you pull the glass up and blow a noodle design in there, then that may be what you have to do. I like the look of this because I like it to look like it's organized, but it's messy. A little bit like my life. <laughs> Everybody's life this year, huh? Now, this, I want to add some purple. I want some dark in it. I didn't want that much. It was fixing it real, real dark. Okay, so I wanted to do that. So yeah, that's that's a cool look. I like this. <laughs> yeah. All right. I want to do like one here. 
I need to be careful not to put too much purple or I will go funny color. So I'm going to put more of this on the yellow and red. That's what you got to look at. Now, if I wasn't using pastels or these type colors, if I was using browns and blues and greens, they mix great. There's people here that don't get along, and we just try not to sit them next to each other. All right, so that's, I might do a little pink in there. So I'm going to drop just one to kind of maybe help counter any purple that gets in that. Okay, I'm going to have to add, now because I've got this, ex well, never mind, I wasn't going to say, just because I had this exterior line, it's going to be harder to jump over it, and it's not that hard, to be honest, now. But it is, if you're paying attention, it does, well... better than if you didn't have anything so there all right yeah we can fix that I'm gonna do the big one yeah now these colors will would be fine I'm gonna set this one a little more in the green and right there that's gonna be good um I'm gonna put a little green in there I'm going to tilt my table just to take my mat. Get to move a little bit. And you want to do this, and I know you might not can see it, but there's there's ink running around the outside of this. And I just keep drying until it's dried. And then I can pick up the glass. Now then I'm going to make this. I want to get some of that over there. And you can always run in here with... Um, something and just run over it and kind of mix it in let it if there's an area you'd like to get it and I should have a stylist ready to go on that one. Oh, my little grandson was in here painting teacher a picture and I don't know where things are oh well yeah kids love these inks and they can handle them pretty good I'm I'm a little on the surprise side of how well they do um maybe this one I'll put it more in the yellow then
Oh no. I didn't see that. Okay, so here's what I did. I did not clean the top of that off. It has purple. Um, yeah. Okay, I can, we can fix that with the acrylic, so not to worry. I'm going to put some more yellow in. I might put a little orange. I'll do some white around that. It'll be it'll be good. And I can do white, and then I can put yellow back on top of it, and you'll never know it or really see. Never really see that. I'm gonna take out some of this because it's just solid. Okay, let's do that some more. Okay. And that's the first step of fixing something. Um, okay, what was we doing? We were doing this. I'm going to clean that off. I'm going to clean that off. Of course, I had a clean one here. <laughs> yeah. I can't blame it on the mornings. I can't blame it on the nights. I can't blame it on anything. that. We'll pull it over here a little bit. More orange than not. But I may put some blue in it. Now I've got the last one here. And I think I'm going to let it be orange. And you don't have to do that. I just, there, when I, when you do the kind of swirly things and do, there's a lot of ink under there and it mixes. There's not a lot here. So I'm having to make up the difference or they would all be kind of clearish. And I didn't kind of want that at all. So. That's why I'm adding the colors. Once I got into it, I started seeing that.
Okay, so now I see a problem. Um, this one. I'm going to try to clean it out and see what I can do to fix it. And I may have to just redo it. And at this point, why not? Let's just redo it. So I'll get that dark up. Whoa, got blue in there, but that's all right. It worked. <laughs> I saved it. All right, there you go. Cleaned it off. Um, I'm going to have to use, I think, this because I think this is now too small. Um, let's get it cleaned. All right, we'll put, so I'll call the center. Still had a little pink on it, but I think that's going to help us. I think that'll be, be good. Okay. Lift it up. Don't like the brown, so. Okay. I'm going to let this ride because I think, I think we're good. I can put yellow back over this and not not destroy it. it it'll be fine okay all right that's kind of fun I'm, I'm liking it Okay, so now, I, what do you do down here? Uh, I think I might want to do white bubbles, just like big drops. Um, I used this on something, and it's still too curved. I almost need flat. Ooh. That might be it. We'll see how it does. Okay. These are really cool to use, but I will tell you, they absorb, so when you go to the next color, you're going to transfer. So, if you're going to do something like that, make it, you know, the only thing you do is green or red or something. But those are neat little, keep those. Alright, um, first thing I'm going to do is my white stuff. This is the Bombay White. That's all of them but that one. So I'm going to run it in here. It has purple on it. And I probably won't ever change not washing right after I do something because I'm off to something else. So 
All right, so I'm going to do that here. And you may need to go over it again because you know this is going to start picking up the color it's sitting on top of. Okay. <laughs> I like this. <laughs> oh, it seems upside down. Is it upside down to you? No, let's just leave it like that. Okay. Um, I want to go in with each of the colors darker. So I've got a purple here. That's this one. And then I got pink, some of this magenta. I guess I got a little lucky picking out de kind of pro oh, oh pink's not this big one picking out the colors that also match the the Bombay but if you pick out general pink and purple that's kind of a uniformed or the the uh, you know not a weird color they're just the plain orange the plain pink I think you'll do fine Except for the blue. Oh, I do have a tail. Okay, never mind. Good grief. So Bombay teal and pool seem to be really close together. That's going to be my green. Okay, what did I do? The blue, which is this one. Hmm, I kind of like how that's lopsided. I wanted to correct it, but I don't think I'm going to. I got bright red, which looks orange. I don't have an orange orange but that it just looks orange because look at the red and the bright red so yeah those are your colors And I like the Bombay's because they don't have, I shake them out of habit because the acrylics you got to shake. But these are pretty, let me get one you can see. Um, 
No, I take that back. You do have to shake some of them. Some of them are not. Some of them, when you flip them, there's no sediment. So, but there is on this green. You can see it. So I almost lied, but I caught it. Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, so that is that. Now I want to go back over with the white because it's not showing up great, but this second coat should be better, or at least that's what I'm counting on. Because it's over other white, so it, it should... A little better. I found unless you just spray, you're not going to get a true white. Not on that first round anyway. Um... But I kind of like the fading, so I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of on the fence. I guess it depends which project I'm doing. Okay. There's that. Now I have no idea what else I want to do. Um, I, yes, I do. So I want to take these colors with a card and just make some streaks in that. Even if it's over in the circles, I think that's fine. Here's some orange. Oh, my orange is about dried up. Yeah. Yellow. Did we even do yellow? We didn't even do yellow. Yeah, see, there's... Um, hmm. I'm going to put it right here and see if I can get by with that. So I didn't put a circle of yellow, did I? show up. Okay. Okay. 
And what are we lacking? Green. It looks teal. It does. It is teal. Green. What is this one? Grass green. There we go. There's the difference. Okay, <laughs> that's fun. All right. I want to do some hollow white ones here and there. I want to do small. What do I have that's small? Um... I know. Let me go get that. Okay. <laughs> Top of a sprayer and a bottle cap, which that's so close, so I probably won't use that one. Or, it, gosh, these. That'd be perfect. Yeah. Just wipe them off. Huh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, two sizes. That's fine. This is the top that goes on my Blanco Blanco that I never put on there. Okay, so I want white ones. And let me put white back over here. Yeah, I think that'll be cute. If not, it's just another idea. There we go. Now, let them, I'm letting these trail off. So I think I'm going to put the dark one up close and just trail them off so as they get lighter as they go. Oh, I did. That must have been a bubble. Uh, do I leave it? No. No, 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 no. I don't want to. Yeah, I wiped off some of the uh, alcohol, but at least the, there, that looks fun. See, <laughs> it's another bubble. Oh, good grief. All right, I'm going to get to me if I don't watch it. I think that's fine. Look, I want to do one up here. All right, that is a little stinking cute. So, I don't think I want to do any of these. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do that one. All right. <clears throat> now what? Now see, look, they're turning. So they're going to be a little purplish, a little bluish maybe. If they do, if they don't, it's cute. Um, hmm. <laughs> Those are cute. I really want them a little brighter, these first ones, though. Because that one's bright and it's cute. Okay. That's fine. That would make a cute card. You could cut those into threes and make those number 10 envelope cards. They're like a nine by 
three and a half or four, something like that, nine by four. <sighs> that would be cute. There's no idea for cards. All right, what I want to go do is grab my Posca pen. And I'm going to put the highlight. What I'm doing here is priming it. This pushes in. And it just primes it up. So if you hadn't used it in a while, you can start to see it come in there. There, you see it? It's ready to go. There. Now this will probably have to go over twice again because it's going to absorb some of that color. And I just want to put like here and then back here and sometimes this will pick up your color so wipe it off get it back to white now that's the easiest way to do it now you can go in here with paintbrush let me show you that too. I like using my rigger and load it up. And when I do say that, I mean just make get it as full as you can, but still leave the point. And then there's that. Now what I like about the brush is you can get a thicker beginning and drizzle down to a point if you want. Do this. So we'll do this. I oh, haven't done this one yet. And you see how this one's getting the purple? Let it dry and then just go back over it and it'll get whiter. Now, these Bombays, I can rinse with water because at this point, they are workable with water. Once they dry, they are done. Now, another good thing about the Bombay inks is they are light fast, so they were, they're not going to fade over time, so they're, that's really something cool about them, but once they become dry, they are waterproof, so they're perfect to use with watercolors or this type. Alcohol ink will reactivate them, so be aware of that. Other than that, they are, they are awesome to work with. Not other than that, they're good to work with. Just, that's, a, that's something you have to pay attention to. Yeah, I'm going to let that dry. Okay, they are dry. I do want to go back over a couple of them. Actually, probably all of them.
right. And I do want to stamp my white back on top because they're faded a little bit also. Again, I could have sprayed this, but there's pros and cons on that too. And I put the wrong one. Yikes. This is my big one. Um, but there's pros and cons to spraying because it beads up. So it's a little harder to get it to sit down without beading up a little bit too. shows up. Oh, where's my lid? Okay. Let me think. Let me look at it. Yeah, the more I put the white in there, the better those bubbles show up. But I kind of want to put a dark line here. Like that one. That one. That one looks pretty good. That one needs done. That one needs done. Um, so I'm going to get my colors back out. Get my shot glass. The purple one does this. I'm just going to do one side. And I'm going to... Jeez, where I put that big one, I'm going to have to go... You know what? It needs to dry. It's, it's wet. I'm just going to make a mess. So let me do the green one. I'm going to wipe it off because I need to take up some of this ink right here. Okay. Um, the blue is this one. Now, that's making them stand out a little bit better. And magenta. Now, yellow. I'm not sure what I'm going to do on yellow. I guess it looks pretty good. I don't, the yellow's not showing up, so I don't know that I really need to do that. And yes, I am stalling a little bit because I want to do something else and I just don't know what to do. That's going to go with this kind of theme thing I got going on here. All right, you see the second one right there? I need to do white over it and kind of blur it out a little just a little bit it was not going to do much just enough to take its solid look away there yeah that one of all of them is the, the wacko one All right, so I'm going to touch these back up. I wonder. 
Um, I'd almost like to put an outline, very faint, somewhere in here. I don't know if I'm going to mess it up or not because that's that's kind of cute and simple. And I think I'm going to stop. Okay. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> All right. Y'all go have fun. Okay, here's an add-on. When I went to take pictures, the yellow is like, wow. I, and yeah, I don't, so I'm going to have to brush in a little, I don't want to make these straight lines, but I need to come over, I think with some blue and yeah, right there, which means I may have to put my little circles back on, but that's all right. Cause I just, I really need to do that. And it's funny how you, you look at something else. That's why I'm like, if you're ever not sure about your painting, walk away. Look at as many patterns and things to get your mind, get that image out of your head. And then come back and look at it and see what you see. And it's a little easier sometimes. So there's my blue. I'm going to do this. Whew. Okay. That. That. That might be enough just to mess it up. Even though it's green, yes, that's, I think that does it. Yeah, that looks better. And I might come over here and just, this green is very muted. Um, I might come over here and do some of that. Let's see, I finished knocking everything over. Okay, yeah, I like that. Now, yes, I'm going to have to go back and do these with this white again. I like these. I wanted them to show up a little bit more, so I am going back over a few. Because they are really cute, and they just add the little, like, distant bubbles or fading bubbles or... Something is just cute. Alright. I'm done. We'll go take another picture. All right, y'all go have fun.